Hi everyone, Jason Rutherford with Model Technology Solutions. Today we're going to look at deploying BitLocker policies with Intune. First thing I'm showing you is a client device that's newly registered to Azure AD and auto provisioned into our MDM authority, which is Intune. Just showing you that the BitLocker logs, in fact, are empty. There's been no uh, configuration of BitLocker previously on this device. So let's go initiate a um, pull of policy. and you click on your organization, you click on info, this is without the company portal, you can go scroll down and click sync. That will initiate the sync back with Intune. Now, a couple other things that I'm gonna show you here. We'll take a look at the MDM uh, diagnostics or debug logs, and you can see what policies are being deployed down to the machine and when they were applied. But the other thing we're gonna look at real quick is take a look at the manage BDE to look at the status of the protectors in BitLocker. And as you can see, protection is currently off on the C drive. <clears throat> With that, uh, if you're ever troubleshooting in tune in the configuration of the MDM policies, you can scroll down a little bit and create the report. The report is saved to users, public documents. You can open up the HTML file. You can search for things that you're looking for. In our case, we're looking for BitLocker, so we will search for BitLocker. And you can see that the default value is zero, our current value is one, so it is in fact getting the BitLocker policy. Uh, hit it refresh a couple of times and you'll notice that BitLocker is now encrypting the device. Now, if we weren't looking for it, we never would have known that it was occurring. We go look at the BitLocker logs inside of the event log and notice the error. And then right above that, it's going to say encryption has started. And this is according to the policy is set up and we'll go check our manage BDE settings. And you can see that encryption is currently in progress. So now again, if you're the end user and you weren't looking for it, you never would have known this existed. Let's flip over to the admin side. So go to um, the, the device portal. We'll look at configuration profiles in our BitLocker policy. We go to properties, go to settings. And under Windows encryption, this is where we set all of our BitLocker settings that we have. You have fixed disk, OS disk, removable disk, and then all of your settings for what kind of encryption you want to have, where you're gonna store the keys, are you allowing recovery passwords, information to Azure Active Directory. We'll go take a look at that here momentarily. First thing we're gonna check is to make sure that the device status is in fact being applied, uh, or the configuration policy is being applied to our device. So we go to device configuration um, for the solo device that it's deployed to, you click on it and you can see that the BitLocker encryption and all of our settings in that, the eight settings or nine settings that we have in that policy have succeeded. If we venture back to devices and we could have done it from that screen, just show you another way to get there. And I'm gonna search for my user. Now, uh, Intune tester. Uh, you can see that the device is MDM joined and we look at the recovery keys on the left and you can see the BitLocker key uh, is there and it is stored in our um, Azure Active Directory instance. 